Whether you're battling depression yourself or know someone who is, these 10 Bible passages can be a beacon of light in the shadows. Let's explore how God's Word can help you find peace, even in the midst of your deepest struggles. So let's dive in and discover how these 10 verses can bring healing and hope to your heart. Number 1. Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Context. David writes this psalm during a time of intense personal anguish, fleeing from King Saul and seeking refuge with the Philistines. Despite his external circumstances, David finds solace in knowing God is near. Tip. Seek comfort in knowing that God is close to you at all times, especially during your lowest moments. Real life example. When feeling isolated by depression, practice mindfulness by reminding yourself that you are not alone. Engage in prayer and meditation in inviting God into your heart. Number two, Isaiah 41.10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Context, God speaks through Isaiah to reassure the Israelites who were in exile that he would protect and sustain them through their trials. Tip, trust that God's strength will carry you through even when you feel weak. Real life example, when facing overwhelming tasks, break them down into smaller steps and pray for God's strength at each stage. This can help you feel less burdened and more supported. Number three, Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, Present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Context, Paul writes this letter from prison, encouraging the Philippians to replace anxiety and prayer with gratitude. Tip, transform anxiety into prayer and let God's peace fill your heart. Real life example, when anxiety starts to take over, write down your worries and turn each one into a prayer. Express gratitude for the things you have and allow God's peace to calm you. Number four, Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The context, Jesus invites those who are struggling and overwhelmed to find rest in him offering a way of life that brings peace and relief from burdens. Tip, surrender your burdens to Jesus and accept his guidance for a lighter load. Here's a real life example. Identify one major burden you're carrying and symbolically give it to Jesus through prayer. Focus on living one day at a time, trusting that he will help you manage your responsibility. Number five, Psalm 42 verse 11. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why, so disturbed within me. Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Context, the psalmist expresses deep emotional turmoil, but resolves to place his hope in God despite his feelings of despair. Tip, shift your focus from despair to hope by choosing to praise God even in difficult times. Here's a real-life example. Create a playlist of worship songs that uplift your spirit and listen to it when you feel down. Let the music remind you place your hope in God. Number six, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Context, Peter encourages Christians who are facing persecution and suffering to entrust their worries to God, knowing that he cares for them. Tip, release your anxieties to God, trusting that he cares deeply for you. Here's a real life example. Start a journal where you write down your anxieties as a way of casting them onto God. Revisit these entries to remind yourself that God is taking care of your concerns. Therefore, you don't have to worry about them or take care of them yourself. Number seven, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Context, Paul speaks of a thorn in the flesh that tormented him, but he found peace in God's assurance that his grace was enough. Tip, embrace your weaknesses, knowing that God's grace will sustain you. Here's a real life example. When you feel overwhelmed by your limitations, remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. 
In fact, God looks for those who are imperfect. Lean on God's grace and focus on what you can do, not what you can't. Number 8. Romans 8, verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all the creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Context. Paul reassures believers in Rome that nothing can separate them from God's love, offering them hope amidst trials. Tip. Remind yourself that God's love is constant no matter your circumstances. Real life example, when negative thoughts creep in, counter them by affirming that God's love for you is unchanging. Write this passage down and keep it somewhere visible as a daily reminder. Maybe even the background of your phone. Number 9. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Context. God sends this message to the Israelites in Babylonian exile, reassuring them that despite their current suffering, He has a hopeful future in store for them. Tip, trust in God's plan for your future, even when the present seems bleak. Real life example, when you feel hopeless about your future, write down your dreams and goals and pray for God's guidance. Believe that He has a purpose for you and is working towards your good. He will shut the doors along the way but that he does for your own benefit because soon the door he wants you to walk through that will prosper you will open. Number 10, Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Context, the prophet Jeremiah writes these words amidst the ruins of Jerusalem, finding hope in God's unchanging faithfulness despite the nation's suffering. Tip, Start each day with the assurance that God's mercies are renewed every morning. Real life example, establish a morning routine that includes prayer or reading scripture, focusing on God's faithfulness and love. Let this be a time to remember that every morning we start fresh. We have closed the chapter that was yesterday and the past. God's compassion on what you're going through is endless. Remember to pray, God, consider my past, and I promise you, He will. Depression is a heavy burden, but remember, you don't have to carry it alone. The Bible is filled with promises and truths that remind us of God's unwavering love and presence, even in our darkest moments. As you reflect on these passages, know that God sees your pain. He is offering you His peace and comfort. And the most important thing is this. Jesus is alive. We don't have to speak to Him as if it's make-believe. If He is truly alive, He will meet you where you are. If any of these verses spoke to your heart, take some time to meditate on it. Pray and let God's word be your guide through this journey. If you found this video helpful, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who might need these words today. Remember, the light of God's love is always shining, even when the darkness seems overwhelming. Hold on to that rope and never let it go. Thank you for watching and may you find strength, comfort, and peace in God's word.